Talking fast cars, Corvettes to be precise. It's a big car show next Saturday in Plaquemine. It's a fundraiser for an organisation that's very dear to my heart and to yours too. Jimmy Talbot from the Baton Rouge Corvette Club joins me in the parking lot to tell us about it. Good morning, Jimmy. <laughs> Good morning, Scott. I'm Jimmy with the Baton Rouge Corvette Club. I'm here today to tell you about our upcoming car show at Plaquemine. It's at the Plaquemine Water Park on the Bayou Banks. It's April the 26th. It's from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's an open car show, and all the proceeds go to St. Jude Charity. Well, when you drive up in a car like this and draw the crowd, it's all there is to people come over and they say, man, I love your car. And they go like, yeah, I kind of do too. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about it is the nose. This particular model is a Grand Sport. The Grand Sport is an upscale over the standard Corvette. It's sort of in between the racing models. It's more streetable. It has all the features of the racing models in the fact that it has the scoops, the scoops and spoilers, the big wheels and tires, the flare fenders, and all the things that go along with the look like it's a race car. It has the standard engine, which is very drivable. It has 430 horsepower, which is pretty good. It draws a crowd, they're beautiful cars, they drive really well, they handle well, they're fast. It accelerates uh, from zero to the quarter mile in about 12.2 seconds at 118 miles an hour. Uh, it's supposed to top out at 185 and it gets 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. What can I say, it's a great car. When you come to a club event nowadays, most of the cars are new cars from say 2005 on up. We have a few older cars and they come out occasionally, but most people that are in the club now buy the new cars because you can drive them anywhere you want to go and they get good gas mileage and they're comfortable. The older cars are a little bit more primitive and they're not so user friendly. Some of the other features, uh, the classic look of the molded in headrest behind the headrest, what they call a waterfall going down into the thing. These are only available on the convertible models. And you can get the look of a race car with full amenities, all your luxury items, and an automatic transmission. The two racing models, you can only get a six-speed manual with a clutch pedal, so this one's for the women. The club's been doing this for 16 years, and what makes it special to me is I was one of the original people that actually started the show. I had some people come to me and request uh, a car show in the name of St. Jude, and they wanted the Corvette Club to help them out. And I went to bat with the executive board and the president and our campaign, and I finally got it approved, and we started the show in 1998. Thank the good Lord, I have no real connection with St. Jude other than I guess I'm a big fan and I want to help. Uh, the street I live on is three miles long, and I've been there for 32 years, and in 32 years we've had five children from our street go to St. Jude Children's Hospital because they needed treatment. So it's kind of close to home for me, and I just feel like anything I can do to help, I'm going to do. When you come to our car show, which is going to be Saturday, April the 26th, you're going to be able to see, of course, Corvettes, hot rods, pickup trucks, antique cars, rat rods. We even have uh, custom boats that show up, four-wheelers, ATVs, side-by-sides, and pretty much anything you can imagine. People actually take their children's strollers and they customize them and they bring their children's strollers and put them in the show. So it's it's really a cool thing. And uh, we're going to have a live band. We have a DJ that runs the whole day in between the band and all the money goes to St. Jude. Thanks so much. Now folks, get up next Saturday morning, watch the Around Town show and then go see Jimmy, his beautiful Corvette and about 200 other beautiful automobiles at the St. Jude car show in Plaquemine. Well, when we get back, we're going to be talking kids' summer fun with the Manchester